Hi, I'm Jill Fry, and today I'm going to show you how to take long exposures without using filters. You can only take it to a certain level until you need filters, but it can still be done to a certain extent. So I'm going to show you how to do that at one of my favourite places just close by to me, which is Nigretta Falls in southwest Victoria. We're now coming into the Nigretta Falls Reserve. As you can see, it's quite an overcast day, which is perfect for doing long exposures. If it was very sunny, we wouldn't get the results that we'd like to get. You won't get that smooth, silky water. So you really need to have a day that is overcast or towards the end of the day when the light is getting less. In this case, it's actually just after midday. So we're in the peak of the day. But with the clouds, we should be able to get some slow water happening. It's now mid-July and the falls are flowing just beautifully as you can see behind me. So let's grab the camera gear and we're going to head down to the bottom and uh, I'll show you what I can get. So the equipment you're going to need for this shoot is simple. You just need your camera, and in this case I've got a lens that is 24 to 70, and also you're going to need your tripod. So I've set my tripod and camera up right at the bottom of the steps, looking directly at Nigretta Falls. The first thing I do is I set the settings on my camera to be what I would normally take for a daytime shot. And in this case, it's 1 200th of a second, F8 and ISO 200. And as you can see, the resulting shot has frozen the water droplets as they tumble down the falls. To get the smooth, silky look in the water, you now need to adjust your settings. Put your ISO to as low as it can go. It might only be 100 or it might be 50, depending on the camera that you have. In my case, I can put it down to ISO 50. Then change your f-stop to about f-16. Now press the live view button on the back of your camera and adjust with the knob at the top the speed until you can see on your screen that the exposure is right. In this case it was one tenth of a second but I want it to look more silky smooth. So I increase the f-stop to f22. This then allows me to extend the time further and I was able to get one fifth of a second with the correct exposure. Have a look at these two photos. You can see the difference between one fifth of a second and one tenth of a second smooth, silky water. Just for experiment's sake, keep increasing the time each shot to see what difference it makes. Keep an eye on your histogram and you'll soon see when it starts clipping the whites on the right hand side and you know it's too much. If the conditions are not right and you're still not getting that smooth, silky water 
Then it's time to put on a neutral density filter. You can see the difference in the results by putting on this 10 stop filter. At the end of the day, it's all about getting the effect that you want. Some people like just a little bit of silky smooth water where you can still see some ripples and others like it so it looks like milk. It's up to you. So first of all, you can try without a filter and you can get that smooth silky water to some extent. If you want the milky milky look, then you will need to look at a neutral density filter. So hopefully this has got you started on getting that nice silky water effect. And if it has, then please do smash me a like, put a comment down below and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.